Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create slideshow in Wix or how to add a slideshow to any page on your Wix website. For example, once you are on editor on your Wix website, let's say I would like to add the slideshow to my home page. All I'll need to do is simply tap on add section. Once you have tapped on add section, you could go over to the left hand menu option and from here I'll tap on blank section. Once I've done that, you can see a blank section is now added to my home page as you can see right here. So this blank section is where I'm going to add my slideshow. Now to add a slideshow, all you'll need to do is simply go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on the plus at the top that says add elements. Once you have tapped on the plus, I want you to select interactive. After selecting interactive, you're going to go over to the second drop down menu option and you can see full width slideshow or you could choose box slideshows. For this example, I will use a full width slideshow as you can see right here. There are numerous styles that you can choose from. You can simply scroll down until you find one of your liking. I'm going to be using this one. Then you'll simply tap and drag and you're going to place it on your page. So I'm going to add it to the section that I had created earlier. Once you have done that, the next thing you're going to do, as you can see right here, the slideshow has now been added, but there are three slides. So if I should tap across, you'll see that there are three slides. So for example, slide one, slide two, slide three. Now to manage the slides or to change the images, all you'll need to do, you could tap right where you see quick edit. After you have tapped on quick edit, a small window is going to open up on the right hand column as you can see right here. In this small window, you can start making some changes. So for example, I will tap on the slide. Once you have tapped on the slide, you are going to see the three images that are currently being used in the slideshow. So you can see them right here. And you can also change the text if you want. So I could change the text, I could change the images, I can also change the font style if I want. For example, I'll select slide one. So this is slide one at the moment. Now, if I would like to change the image, I could tap on change. Once I've selected change, you can either choose to change it to another image or you could choose a video as the background. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this video as the background or the image in the slider. I'll simply tap on it. After I've done that, I'm going to simply go back. So I'll tap right there. Then I can change the image to, so I could change the second image. So to do that, I'll simply scroll down and you can see slide two right here. I'm going to tap on that also. And then from there, I'll tap on change once more. And then I'm going to select this image to change it to. So I'll tap right there. Then I'll go back. After you have done that, now you can edit the text or so on if you want. To edit the text, again, once you have selected the slide that you like to edit, you can see the text that is there, so you could tap on it right here. Once you have tapped on the text, you could change it to whatever you want. So let's say I want to change it and I'll simply type in test. So I'll do that real quick. Then if you like it to be clickable, all you'll need to do is simply select the text. Then from there, you could tap on the link right here and you could add the link that you would like it to be clickable to. So if someone were to go onto that particular slide and tap on that text, they will open up another page, whether it be on your website or an external page you're linking to. Also, if I wanted to change the image for the third slider, I could do that. Or if you wanted to delete the third slider, all you'll have to do is tap on the three dots in line with the slider, then you could tap on delete. And by the way, if after putting in the images or videos on your sliders, you'd like to move them or rearrange them, all you'll have to do right where you see the six dots, you will simply hover over that and you'll be able to drag it. So let's say I would like this one to be the second slider instead of the third one. 
I could simply drag and place it right there, as you can see. Once everything is there liking, you can tap on the X right here in the top right hand corner to close out of it. Then you can preview the changes. So I could tap on preview right here. Let's do that real quick so you can see how it looks at the moment. So I'm going to tap on preview so you can see the changes. And you can see the slider right here. So you can see it gradually changes. And also if you would like to edit the time that it stays on, you can also do that by simply hovering over the slider and tapping on manage slider. You'll be able to set when it changes and manage the duration. But you can see this is it. So this one is the video, remember? The other one would be an image. This was the original image that came with the slider. And then the third one, this is one that we added also. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.